Well, a swell and wealthy relative of mine had up and died, and I received a hundred thousand from the will. So a friend and I decided to convert this into liquid form. And all the sun so we started in the city, had it drink in every shitty little gin mill. That's really quite a few. And then a cabbie up in Harlem took us clear across the river into Brooklyn, where he joined us in a group. Now he was weaving just a trifle by the time we hit Astoria at 80 miles an hour in reverse. But that was nothing to the weaving that we did as we was leaving, and from time to time it got a little worse. Well, there's nothing like drinking of a windfall, baby. We were drunker than a monkey with a skin fall. So goddamn drunk it was sent for. And I believe I ain't sober yet. Oh, poor me, audience. Callahan's place is real. I'm not allowed to tell you the exact address, since the owner, Mike Callahan, doesn't want that kind of publicity. Neither does my friend Spider Robinson, the guy who writes down the stories I tell him about Callahan. But I'll tell you this much, it exists in our universe, in the outer arm of our spiral galaxy, the Milky Way. It's on an island just off the coast of North America, Long Island, on Route 25A in Suffolk County. From there on, you're on your own. But the way most people find Callahan's is, well, they just sort of find it when they really need to. Like the night this guy walks into the bar.